I'm Janelle from Projects for Wellness and I just want to show you how you can use a broom learning deck activity that has been shared with you in one of our learning stations or in one of our other resources and how you can take that activity and prepare it to be shared with your students. So for this, we are in a learning station activity. This is Health Basics Learning Station. So this is in module one of the level two curriculum. And when you click the teaching guide, this in the teaching guide, it will force you to make a copy and you'll be able to edit it. If you are just looking at this from the Google Drive folder, you'll see that you're only able to view it and you're not able to edit it. So you'll need to go and right click and make a copy or go to the teaching guide and click the link that forces you to make a copy. So once you're able to edit, that means that you have your own copy. You can change the name if you need to, you can move it around. But right now what I wanna show you is how to prepare the boom learning activities for your students. So if you see in this station one, Dimensions of Health, right here, task two is play the game and review. So students are going, this is the game that students are going to play. Now I'm not able to just give you a link for students to play this. Instead, you need to add this game to your own boom learning account and then you can share it with your students. So what's gonna happen is you are going to copy this right here then you are, I logged in here, so let's, that should, I guess I'll set up. Then you're going to go to your Boom Learning. Again, you'll need to set up an account to this. So my has, I already, I already logged in. So right here, here's the activity. This is, um, this is supposed to be the Dimensions of Health activity. That's okay, because it will be the same process. So we, well, here, let's just, Go to our store and then I can put that link. So here's the dimensions of health. So this is actually the activity that goes with that station. Thanks, Scott. Um, so what you're going to do, it's free. So you're going to add it to cart. All right. Then you can check out. Check out and see what points. Okay, you're buying one thing for zero points. The complete purchase. So now we have this. So we're going to go to our library. And now you have a couple of options here. So um, you can assign this if you have a class set up or you can give kids a hyperlink for this. They will need to have a login for Boom Cards. But if students don't have a login and you're not wanting to collect answers or responses, you're going to click Fast Pin, Generate New Fast Pin. And now you are going to copy. Okay. Copy this, and then we're going to add it back in the learning station activity. But you just need to note that this is only live for seven days. So after seven days, if students are still, if say you do this activity with another group of students, or you're doing it next year, whatever, you're going to go, you need to go and change and add a new link for this. Unless students have a login, then you can just um, create, leave a login that they are going to, or sorry, leave a link that would require them to log in. But this is so that they can play without needing to log in or make an account. So we're gonna go here, back to the learning stage and station, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna delete this. All right. And then you're going to add this one. So now let's just see what this looks like. So you would, you can change all that up there when, once you, all set up so let's say name is Janelle here you would change this to whatever your grading sections are and then here's the first activity so first I would watch this video about what the dimensions of health are and then I would click and play so now, now students when they're seeing this they would go here and they would then get to play the activity so or the game so this is all about dimensions of health play through it Okay, this is a drop, so understanding feelings. All right, this so this do, and this self correcting. So yay, move on. And then there's a couple of different activities that students would go through and play. Again, because you use that bass pin, students would not actually need to log in. So again, remember that if that 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 fast pin only has only is valid for a certain amount of days. So if you if students are doing this over a longer period of time, you will have to come in and fix that. 
All right, so hopefully that makes sense about how you can, how you will change these links here to fit your students. Remember, you do need to have your own Boom um, cards login, and but that you can set that up for free, and then you can add it here and use it with your students. So if you have any other questions, please connect with me at projectsolonus.com slash contact. Have a fantastic day. Look forward to chatting soon.